In this video, I am going to show you how to classify cross section according to zero four three. Okay, we have to determine the section classification for this section and still get the x two thirty five. Section properties. So before doing classification of cross section, we have to obtain the data and data of cross section so they are available in online so i use uh, this website for taking still data so i will put the link in the description area you can go and see this data and use it from that still tables i can get this data so TFP is thickness of the plant, DW is thickness of the bit, which is depth of the section, width of the section is B, and R is the root radius. So you can see the parameters in this picture. This is R root radius. Okay. Uh, at first we have to determine the FY. So I use this code I showed you before, 0 code 3. And page 20. This page, uh, these pages are not the printed books page numbers, these are PDF page numbers. So I put in these two my convenience page 28. Page 28, table 3.1. Okay, this table. In here, there are main, main there are two columns. So take the thickness. We have to see what is the thickness is. Oh, and there are two thicknesses. This both thicknesses are less than 40. Therefore, it is obvious that we have to select this column. Uh, within this column, there are two columns as well. Uh, here it, it says FY, FY and FU. So we have to get FY values, therefore we have to ignore this column. So in this column, now we can select this value according to this value. This was a steel rate. So in this question, uh, we are given the steel rate. Steel rate is S235. So S235, FY value is 235 Newton per millimeters. So our FY value is FY value is 235 newton per square millimeters. Then we move into next slide. Epsilon. Epsilon can be obtained in page 44. In page 44, table 5.2. In bottom of the table, there is a small table. It shows the epsilon values. And using this equation, we can get excellent value, but we don't need to use this equation because we are given excellent values for uh, specific FY values. So we found F our FY value, FY value is 235. According to our FY value, 235, we can obtain a current value, a current value is equal to 1. Okay, so it equals to 1. Okay. Next, we move into the next slide. Now we have to check the plant. So we will do it under bending and compression. First we do under bending plant check. So for that you have to go page 40 5 table 5.2 next page table 5.2 here it is show um, outstand plants. So for plant check we have to use this table so it is said that outstand plants. Another table is for web, right? 
okay now from this table yeah, we, will, we are going to use this column part subject to compression this says bending but there are no form for bending for oh, bending as well as the compression we use this same column so in this column there are three requirements if this requirement is satisfied class is class one if this requirement is not satisfied we have to jump and slow and check this requirement this requirement then this requirement is satisfied class is class two or this requirement also not satisfied we have to jump this row so we see how it works so first we have to know what are these parameters these parameters are explained in this diagram so our section is this section this value section so you can see see is this part right so at first we have to determine the c equals b minus tw minus 2r over 2 so i hope you can understand how we get this part so we have to deduct tw and 2r from the end divide into 2 so we get this value so equals b minus tw minus 2r over 2 substituting these values we can get 86.9 mm so these values can be obtained from this value so this value i got from steel tables okay now we know c tf is the thickness of the part so by substituting values we can get cot f equals 4.08 okay now we know c over t next nine epsilon nine epsilon t equals to nine times one it, it is equals to nine so it is obvious that c over t f is less than nine epsilon because c over t f equals to 4.08 nine epsilon t equals to nine this is greater than this one so therefore class class is class 1 class t so now we can move to next slide it says web check under bending web check so for that you have to go to page 44 table 5.2 34 table 5.2 this table uh, here there are two parts part subject to bending and part, sub, uh, part subject to compression so in this slide for that we will use this color part subjected to bending so here also there are three requirements so first we check first requirement cot here these C are these C's are not the previous C's or oh, this these values are not same. Here these parameters are given in these diagrams. So you can see this is our section. So C is this side. So we can find C we can find a C value from H minus 2x minus 2r that's how i wrote it h minus 2r minus 2 times tf over tw so if you are any substitute values you can get cotw equals 37.52 then turn 2 times s element so it's in equals 1, we have to hold 2, it's in equals to 72. So here also CO TW less than 72 epsilon. So this requirement is satisfied, therefore the class is class 1 plastic. Since both 
this branjan with classes of class 1 overall section class for bending is class 1 class d okay then bending shift is over then we can move to compression shift compression plant shift as i said before the branjan we check our requirements from this table this table in this table there are no columns for bending for bending and compression for both cases we use this column so we used this column before therefore we don't need to this check these requirements again so that means uh, as we got before one class is class 1 for bending as well as for compression branch is class 1 plastic Okay, now we will go to web check in page 44. In page 44, web check this is for compression. This is for compression. So we use this code. So COT, COT we found before. We don't need to find it again. It, it was the COTW. Equal to 37.52 and 33 epsilon came from this and 37 epsilon equals 30. Oh, sorry, 33 epsilon equals to 30, 33. So, as you see, COTW is not less than 33 times epsilon. So, COTW equals to 37.52. And 33 excellent equals 33. 33 excellent is less than COTW. That means this requirement is not satisfied. Okay, now we have to jump in the next row. We have to set this requirement. This requirement says COT less than or equals 38 times excellent. COT we found before. And 38 excellent equals 38. Then we can see COTW less than 38 epsilon because COTW equals to 31.52, uh, it is less than 38. So, therefore, the class is class 2 compact. Okay, now as you see, class class is class 1 and the class is class 2. So but the overall class is class 2. We always select the higher number class. So this is class 1, this is class 2, higher number is class 2. Therefore, overall section class of compression is class 2 compact. Okay, um, this is how we check the section classification and how we classify cross section according to your code. So I hope you learn something. Um, if you learn something, please subscribe us and give us support. Thank you.